snow crest uh, point view. And I like it a lot. It has ocean view, so let's see it. Look at this park. It's not that big, it's kind of small, really. Look at that. It's just right against the road. And the docks of effort. Right now they're in major construction, I would say. Whoop, wet. I can find. Okay, I found a little information and it talks about Everett's natural hazard of tsunamis. Now, the red is six to eight feet, orange, two to six feet, and yellow, zero to two feet. Now, Showing you we are here looking over to that area. See the red? Right there. That is that area, I believe. And there's no Yes, there's a tsunami warning area for that area, but there's no road, there's no, there's trails over there for walking, I know that. Um, it's at the bird sanctuary for wildlife preserve. Tells all about the information, here it is. Found out afterwards. I walked into a different park, even though they're right next, but next to each other. This is called Legion Park. It tells the history. We have a lot of uh, Tulalip tribe history around here, because that is one of our Indian reservations. It talks a little bit about the information about them here. This is something I'm kind of interested in. Birding. So let's see what kind of birds. The osprey. They have a hooked beak. Comparison of a eagle and a osprey. Have eagles up here also. Little information they do migrate in the winter months, they're down uh, below Mexico. Summer months, they are up around here, but also a lot, it uh, looks like, in Canada and Alaska too. See those red dot areas? I see three. There must be out there on what that is. Okay, let's look at it at the same time. There we go. You could probably figure out using the map 
where the so-called osprey nesting sites are. And they're the one of those, there's a few of those, three of those poles out in that water that you see be a big dock that then now is not. It is a osprey nesting site. So they can't build it anymore. They took it down. Okay. Binoculars. It's fun when you see one of these. I had to wipe it off, then I look through it, and it shows one of the osprey nesting sites. More information. I love these little information things. Overlook Eye of the Region. Okay, let's look at the articles. Okay, so you can see the native Snohomish people used on that island of long ago, used fires, and it made it so they could see for miles and miles around just from this one viewpoint so they could you know look for things coming through the water okay hat island it's right out there Really? Okay. That's a neat article. Let's look at Hat Island. I can show you that pretty quickly from here. Hat Island. It's right there. Right there is one end. Right there is the other end. Okay, the next one. Look how close he is. He's right next to him. E Hillbub. The name of the town that used to be here. This is what it would have been probably looking like when it was uh, Lewis and Clark era. When they, if they came up here. Which I believe they did. River or life but of the region. What this means is one big thing right here that is salmon. We have a lot of salmon up here. Um, and let's look at what the information says. Oh, pretty painting. Look at that. 